is after Victoria. I need to stop him before he gets too close. Man, he already too close. You want my advice? You take that girl and you run. I never did believe in running. According to my sources, the girl is in Chicago. Me and the boys are leaving ASAP. I need you along to spearhead the operation. Are you in? Wait. I heard you. You want me to snatch some chick? Name's Victoria. Dom is gonna call you, tell you how to find her. She's in hiding somewhere. You got that? That's a lot of hassle for one chick. She must be special. I need to bring my boys. That means double my fee. Mm. Take Lenny with you. He can bring her back when you find her. Lenny, limp dick? Trip on my feet. <laughs> Sorry, the kid's a dipshit. 25. 39. 26. 37. 30. 35. Deal. <laughs> Lenny, come give the man a line. <laughs> Come on, Limp Dick. <laughs> Limp Dick Lenny. <laughs> Shut up, Wade! <laughs> I like good old Wade, I really do. Son of a bitch makes my skin crawl. Oh, that's probably why I like him. <laughs> now, Blake Dex is a ruthless son of a bitch for sure, but the guy you really need to worry about is his business partner, Dom Osmond, owner of the Vixen Club over on Bristol Street. This prick is bad new homes, even by my standards. I mean, he's clever and really connected. And it's only a matter of time before he tracks down your girl at the orphanage. How do you know about that? Hey, Chicago knows, I know. <laughs> Dom ain't all that different. Send me his picture. Now, since every cop in Chicago is hot on your ass, the safest route to the Vixen Club should be through the tunnels next to the Roxy. Good luck, Holmes. Time to regain focus. According to Birdie, strip club owner Dom Osmond is Blake Dexter's informant. He put the arms dealer on Victoria's trail. I will remove him from the equation before he causes any more damage. Personal note, Birdie did not give me this information out of the goodness of his heart. He has much to gain by Osmond's death. This is a fragile alliance. I have to tread carefully. Goddamn garbage lying around and everything. Check this out. What the fuck's wrong with you? I told you something fucking stinks. Suspect is bald, middle-aged, white male.
Hey, just a lot of surfing, buddy. <laughs> Look, I'm not your fucking buddy. You found a girl from a club raped and killed. Some titties you gotta pay. Oh, come on, man. Hank knows me. Hank always comes. Now remember, when you get inside the Vixen Club, look toward the bar. Cause Dom, he likes to be where the action is. <laughs>
Guess all the cops spooked him. <laughs> Maybe he's just getting all hard on about tonight's Hawaii show. Yeah, it was what was weird. Just said he was heading back to Chinatown. He never misses a Hawaii show. That's because he's a crazy fucking sick prick asshole. Okay, let's get back to work. Trying to tell me that the water did that damage? They sure are. <laughs> I just thought Tom He said if I didn't entertain his friends, I'd be going to Hawaii. Hey, hey, look. We just had to entertain his friends. Don't let them think they own them. We just need to We've all been there. You were right. Dom was searching for Victoria. I got to him just in time. Good for you, Holmes. Kudos. He was on to you as well. A man is coming. A man named Wade. That guy's crazier than a shithouse rat. You need to get your ass over here right away, because this is about to get very loud and very messy. I have to call you back. in danger here.
Bertie, I'm on my way back to Chinatown. Stay low and watch your back. Oh yeah? Well that's easy for you to say, Holmes. Man, that Wade, they say he got ways to make you talk. And you and I both know that I got a lot of shit to say, so hurry! Just stay calm. You think it was murder, huh? No, no, I haven't seen anybody. From the Chicago Fire Department. I mean, if, if there's just one tiny spark in there, all the sprinklers are going to go off. Hey, uh, you, you see it? Oh, ball guy. Look like a bomb. Just doing my job. You get a lot of firepower back there. Oh, sorry, officer. Listen, if you see a man fit in that description, you let one of us know, right? You understand? Of course. Uh, of course I will. Probably doing some hard breathing. No, I haven't seen anyone. And you don't play golf. I can dream, Danny. I know. This, this Chinese shit ain't exactly grade A quality. <coughs> yeah, we got a fireworks explosion in here. I mean, how hard can it be to buy a carton of milk, right? First reason, <coughs> bastard. <coughs> Talking like that, some people might not like it. Yeah, yeah.
three weights, guys, in the crowd asking questions. Ooh, it's only a matter of time before they see me. You gotta get me out of here, Holmes. You got to, you got to, for your own damn good. Bertie, focus. Don't do anything foolish. I will take care of this. Now, if I was to say Birdie, then you would respond, what? Uh, you want roast duck? Wrong answer. <clears throat> okay, asshole, here we go. Once more for the hearing impaired, where's the guy they call Birdie? And what about that ball- ah! HX UMPs, huh? Uh, I've been wanting to try one of those. Nice. Uh, hmm, an armor tip bullets. Those could come in handy. Hell, I'll just take one of everything. Hey, what the hell? Where's that goddamn file? Damn if I know. Who's lying right there? Look, jerk off! I don't know what you're trying to pull here, but I want my goddamn money back! Hey, screw you! Who the hell All are you? Alright, city boy! What the oh. hell?
weird sound here. Probably nothing. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. He left with this cowboy guy. Real nasty looking piece of work. They were going downtown, I think. Too late, 47. I gotta do what I gotta do. <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Wade, what would you rather do? Find a girl? Or waste a bullet? Clock is ticking. Somebody's messing around. You stay put. <laughs> 